the big parts of this operation is just getting down to the piriformis muscle because it's such a, you know, it's a, it's basically right in the center of the pelvis, this structure. The size of the patient can really make this a, an easier or harder endeavor. And what I use the fluoroscopy for is there's certain bony landmarks that uh, will allow you to come straight down on the piriformis muscle every time. And that's sort of a key, key part of the operation. If you're, if you're off target, even a centimeter or two, it can really make the operation a lot more difficult. Go through the layer of the skin and the adipose tissue, then you have to um, go through the buttock muscle and luckily the way everything lines up, it's all kind of in the same direction. So you can just do a, what's called a, a muscle splitting technique. That way you're not having to actually cut the muscle fibers of the gluteus maximus muscle. And so it's a lot less pain for the patient and less morbid. And once you take the retractor out, it just all falls right, to, right back together. And then, then what you see is just this amorphous layer of adipose tissue. It's just all yellow. So you have to open up this deep pelvic compartment fascia. This is one of the things about this operation when you first start doing it, it's, it's like a little bit intimidating because it's like impossible to see anything. And there's big blood vessels down here and other nerves and you have to get through this fat without injuring any of that. And just kind of feeling the structures helps a lot to kind of keep you um, sort of knowing where things are and what direction you need to be going and stuff. Using, a retract, using the retractor is a, is a critical part of the operation. I mean, it's hard to do this operation without good retraction. They would keep everything steady. But at the same time, you have to be very careful about how you use it and the, and the, the pressure that the blades are exerting because there's all these important structures running underneath this tissue, other important nerves and like, the, reco the recovery from the surgery is for most people a couple weeks, I would say. Most people at a couple weeks, their, their surgical pain is pretty much gone. It can vary widely though. Some people just really don't have that much pain. And I would say that most people don't have a lot of pain with, in the post-op recovery period. But there's just, you know, there's soreness in, the, in this area from the surgery. You know, this operation can, can take as little as an hour and 15 minutes or as long as, you know, five hours, all depending on factors like scar tissue and whatnot. What that, how that translates given an individual's own, you know, physiology and how prone they are to making scar tissue and how dense that scar tissue is. It, you know, that can vary a lot from, from uh, patient to patient. And so you don't, you don't know for sure exactly what you're getting into. Sometimes the scar tissue is a lot better than you anticipated and sometimes it's a lot worse and you just kind of have to roll with it. <laughs>